technology, what the fuck? Let's see. Oh my god, the record is so damn good. All right, come on, magic something. The fuck is up here? Yes, it worked. It worked. How are you, Christine? Oh, my back hurts, and I just ate a bowl of soup. <laughs> I made, <laughs> I made, I've never, I've never made soup before. And today, <laughs> after we did the murder, the murder she wrote. Uh, Tell me about the Jessica Fletcher situation today. Oh, uh, you don't want to know. It lasted an over <laughs> an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I, I forgot. I forgot that uh, Murder, She Wrote episodes are an hour long. Like a <laughs> and solid then I got hour? On the, it was, I stayed for the fucking hour. I even fast forwarded parts of it. And I, <laughs> I had a fucking good time. And I sawed a dick in half. And I put Tickles Pickles in the camera. And, and I watched. What is Tickles the, doing? He's so fucking pissed off. Oh, look no. at him. Look. Look, he hates you. Look, he he is. Oh Pickles. my god. Oh my god. Hatred flows from those devil eyes. He done that. Look at his tail. Watch. See that? <laughs> that means you're fucked. <laughs> but I had this. So I made some I made soup and I just fucking ate it. It took hours to put in a pot. How, uh, wait, hold on. Before before we get into this, if we let's just do one little thing and then uh, we'll get back to this. But for people that don't know, which is probably nobody, everybody knows who you are, can you tell people who you are and you do several different projects that you're working on right now? Jessica Fletcher is one of them. Obviously, it's a lifetime event. Not the channel, but an actual lifetime event. Event. And, and the channel. Also, can you tell people how you know me? Yeah, let's. I know you from Austin, Texas. That's correct. Oh my God! I almost threw up soup. Oh, <laughs> I did. Um, I met you. I met bitch, butcher, butcher bear, in Austin, Texas, and butcher bear helped me uh, create. The order and shipping for my Basura I vinyl. Didn't do, I, I sat you in, told I me did. good people to, you gave me good people to talk to, and you helped I answer did, questions I when I had questions about, about, I had questions about the record. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I had questions about the record and how to do it, and you gave me good advice. And, and then I gave you a fucking record to shut you the fuck up. That's true. Then, just, you're right. Because I love you. And yeah. um, and uh, we met in Austin. And then my name is Christine. And I've, I came from the Austin place. And now I'm in Brooklyn. And uh, Butcher Bear asked if I would stop by his... I don't, where, <laughs> and where the fuck are you? You're inside of a uh, are you? It's like a paradise of an acid trip, twelve-year-old dream. <laughs> yeah, there's like seven Naked. bunk beds in here. There's a there's an underground part where we can skateboard um, on a mini ramp and stuff. What and so soda pops? <laughs> you have a ramp in there? Sure. Yeah. A skateboard ramp. Yeah. So cool. Yeah. You poor thing. <laughs> how do you see? How do you see in that thing? Uh, you can go whenever you want. A lot of people don't tell you that, but you can you can pee whenever you want. Almost not. <laughs> I said see not. I said they see, don't not pee not pee anymore. You know. I I asked you how do you see in that thing, not pee in it. Oh. I but you just told I everybody mean. that you pee inside of your coat. That's why I love you. Because you piss <laughs> inside of your furry outfit before you fucking them. This shit, yeah. 
uh, this was a different color, and I started just peeing my little heart out until it got to yellow. And here we are. It's a TT yellow. TT yellow. <laughs> I think so, it is. Yeah. I'm colorblind, but I think it is. So we met in Austin, and then I make some music. My name's Christine, and I make music, and I'm friends with Butcher Bear from long ago, and still and friends. Today. Something I want to tell people this 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 technical crap may be a little boring. So if it is, just tell me to fuck off. But one thing. Oh, hi, Krylon. I don't know if people Stop. know this, but your last record, trash. I mean, Basura. You know, it was an amazing fucking album. The production, the packaging, the artwork, the way you handled like. Just, I don't know, I just thought it was really amazing. I was super happy for you. I was looking at the liner notes earlier. You are working with like the best of the best of the best people. Graham Reynolds, Buzz Moran, Peter Stopshinsky. Like what, how, tell us about working with these crazy talented people. Is it all you? Is it really just all you? No, Peter Stopshinsky is a big old producer brain. He's like the death star of the CPU of the uh, album and then I work I like to make I like to work with fuckers and make them do things they wouldn't normally do uh Graham Reynolds like does all kinds of music and he, I remember he did like soundtracks for soft films like Before Sunrise <laughs> and exactly then, and before Sunrise Part 4 also, but yeah. Yeah, he made soft music, and I thought, oh, maybe we'll make dirty music, and he'll get to make some shit that he doesn't normally get. Usually when I work with people, I like everybody to have um, have a chance to do what they do best, but not have rules or a big, ugly business person on top telling you what to do. So... Uh, Graham got to get real dirty. He produced the song Fuck and the song Whip Slide. And uh, uh, Buzz and Graham worked together, so Buzz was involved as well, who's a super talented fuck face up in Austin, Texas, too. <laughs> All of that. And they have a little studio. So we did those jams. And then <clears throat> Peter, Peter produced, like, Butt Muscle that you just listened to. And Peter produced Night Window that you just listened to. And and most all the other songs on the album, and then I have a friend in Paris, France. That's French with cheese, and he's over there, and he did Action Toilet. Oh, he's a friend. We, he's played, a, we played that first about an hour ago. Yeah. He's he's in a band called uh, Infecticide, or they call it Infecticide, and that sounds that's, silly. I that's don't, cool. I don't get that. Yeah. So that's all my, those are the fuckers who produced the music for that album, Basura. And, and one of those guys, uh, Peter Stopshinsky, he's in a special, special, special class uh, with you because you guys are still, you guys are making new music, right? Yeah, we just made, we just shot out. Tell me about the new shit. That's what I want to know. It's crazy. We just shot out four new jams when we last hung out together. And uh, I'm really excited about them. And they're very strange and different. And I don't know. There's a song, the one song I really got excited about because I heard it with some, my friends Lex and Beth, who are on this, they're in this chat room somewhere. Lex Vaughn and Beth Schindler. Hell we yeah. were in... We were in uh, Hamburger, Berlin, Hamburger, Germany, Hamburger, Berlin. <laughs> that sounds like a store down the road. I'll meet you <laughs> at Hamburger, Berlin. I want to open up a fast food chain called Hamburger, Berlin, and it's going to serve meatballs. <laughs> but uh, we were in Hamburg, Hamburg, and I met this man from Morocco, and he spoke French. I guess they speak French in Morocco. Do they? I don't know. They do, I guess. And uh, he's, he spoke French, and I can speak a petit peu French. So I started talking to him, and then we started singing. <laughs> but I see you, Beth, typing Burger Berlin. Don't you be stealing that shit. And, uh, 
And um, the twins are like making a video right now called Burger Berlin. They're terrible people. Talking. Terrible people. And um, and I uh, I said I'm gonna write a song called Buku Morocco, and I did. And that was one of the first songs we shit out together, me and Peter. And it's terribly good. I like it a lot. <laughs> And it's uh, it's gonna be a f good fucking feeling once I shit it out into your lap. Yeah, yum 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 yum. Hey, can I, I don't ask know you when uh, one more uh, musicy musicy question real quick? Yeah, because this is a music show, right? I guess. I mean, it's just about me interviewing my friends. That's all. But I love your music, so I want to talk about it. You know? Yeah, I like it. Duh. <laughs> I mean, I like talking. About, I like talking about it. I spent the whole day talking about Jessica Fletcher. I'm wearing her shirt. <laughs> yes. You realize that I still, I still haven't asked you who did it. There she is. Um, uh, I don't know who did it. Some rich, dirty old man. I called him the crusty man. <laughs> he was scrawny, a scrawny, scrawny, scrawny man. <laughs> Who is rich and white and crusty and hated him. <laughs> I okay, so I always uh I am super just enamored of you in so many ways. Um and one one of the ways, this is like years after we've been friends, you tell me that you're working with peaches. Can you fucking explain yourself to everyone? <laughs> no, can you like, how did that come about? Like, how do y'all, how, because you, y'all do a lot of stuff together and you're still doing stuff together, right? We, uh, yeah, it's like a little, it's like a um, solar system. Everybody orbits. Like, again, these fucking twins down there, Lex and Beth. Lex knew, they, they'd known Peaches a long time and Lex is like dirty body oh, for gotcha. Peaches. And so it's always in a nice little solar system. And you know everyone's kind of bouncing around and doing the work that they love to do. And you just kind of know everybody's floating out there. And sometimes the little planets get closer to each other. And then sometimes they bump or you send a little hello pod over. In but the you, space. you two make an incredible creative pair I think. that's my opinion. I love peaches uh, she's she uh we like we say we like to say with uh, the dirty sisters together but she's taught me some fucking good shit and she's uh kind of uh, burns these holes into everybody's brains that ain't nobody burns at all She's got her definite own flame that she jams up into your head. And uh, it's pretty much her own. And so you can't really ever get bored with something like that. She's the, the heart, heart stuff, you know. Absolutely. And I would say, uh, Christine, you basically uh, just described the way that I described you to other people. I think you occupy that same space as the the powerful, creative, beautiful, imaginative, like, powerhouse that you are. And I really, really appreciate you on a lot of different levels, honey. Thanks, Butcher Bear, Ben. And Look let me at, ask you a... this. Before we get to five questions, and wow, five questions. There's five of them. We'll see. I was wondering, what has it been like around the house? Have you been picking up any new uh, habits? Like, have you been eating breakfast at the window or maybe taking a nap oh, in the kitchen or anything like that? That's, that's like what rich people do. <laughs> I, uh, I have been putting lots of things up my butt because nice. I've got this whole... I got this whole place to myself so I can put things in my butt in any room I want, except for my roommate's room. I won't do that. But <laughs> he's not here and I'm not that con. But I like to run around and do things at my butt more than I used to. Um, and I like to um, paint. I've been, oh, and I have a new series of art, fart art that I'm working on. And um, I got inspired by my friend Todd, and he said, hey, Christine, he said, you should paint glaze on 
bricks and make ceramic bricks. <laughs> and I said, what the fuck is that? And then I uh, figured out that it's cool. You're shit, making so ceramic got... bricks? Yeah, I'm making a commemorative brick collection. And if the, it's gonna, I've been painting the royal family on bricks. <laughs> and I'm going to burn those fuckers in the kiln. <laughs> and then I'm going to have a limited edition commemorative royal family brick collection. They look like fucking cool shit. I just painted Princess Diana on a horse. And for, for, people, for people that don't know, I mean, like, you're, you are... Uh, She's you a brick are, house. You do so. You do right so on. <laughs> but go ahead. What? Oh no! I was, I was reading my friends do, saying uh, dumbass shit. A hundred percent of all of everything, like mail order. You're doing art. You're the one sending it to people. You're putting notes in the things. You're drawing pictures. You're doing all this crazy shit. Like, where can people go to find your bricks? I don't know. Usually, I just sell them on. I'll make an announcement on these stupid machines, and I'll say, "Hey, I've got this and then you many." Sell out right away, right? Sometimes, if it's nice, uh, nice season, yes, I will. And then sometimes it's a little slow, but it it helps me do my living. And I really love to paint a lot. I love painting. And so it's been nice to give that away as what they are called merchandise instead of just typical shit. Right. Commercially crap. Exactly. I got a friend in I got a friend in Los Angeles, Jess Cuevas, who we teamed up together and made T shirts once. I like to uh I like to collaborate with other people who are making things too because I think the best uh, things, the best shit you'll get in your fucking hand from something you like is going to most definitely be homemade and a collaborative effort will always bring about much better results in my opinion. Absolutely. And Christine, can you tell me what is your Venmo? My Bimbo? Your Venmo. Oh, I thought you called me a bimbo. You bimbo? Um, What's your Venmo? <laughs> my Venmo is, uh, I'm going to type it. It's at Paul Swallow. There's a friend of mine. I'm using his Venmo. Paul, S-O-I-L-E-A-U. What? I'm, okay, let me just look. Let me look at it. Yeah, you're, you're a fucking s***. <laughs> you can't do shit. I can't read. I mean, I, you I can't can only read see because you got a hear. fucking bear on your head and your. I you're just wrote it. You're fucking hanging oh. with this guy again. What the fuck? Who? Yeah, I hang with that Paul person. He's okay. He feeds me and drives me around. He's That's my Venmo, Paul he, Swallow. He can drive at least. What's my bimbo? Well, I wanted to know, and there's a reason, okay? Oh, look! I can turn my phone around, and you can see tickles. Oh my God! Do you see him? Aww. Look at his paw. Pinkest paw. Pinkest paw in the world. Is that the paw of hatred still, or does he? Are we friends again? When he dies, I'm gonna cut that fucking paw off and wear <laughs> it on my. I'm gonna wear it on my ear. <laughs> he doesn't care. He'd do the same thing to more. Hold on, hold on, Willie. Oh, you! It, this is what people were telling me to do all day was pin something. What the fuck is pins? People kept saying, <laughs> oh pin it, pin it, pin it. And I was like, fuck off. I don't know what a pin is. <laughs> you, you pin something. Does that just, oh, it means it stays at the bottom. Yeah. Well, fuck me, Jesus. I, I could have had way more money. <laughs> y'all, that's how. If y'all feel generous, if you, I know it's late at night. If y'all are drunk with, uh, you know, love muscles up your butts and stuff, and y'all got that loose, goosey Stevie Nicks painkiller kind of feel going on, and you want to get loose with your green, drop it in my tip jar. It's that thing that got pinned down there. Fucking shit. Oh, so much stuff. <laughs> 
Christine, you are an absolute wonder. Thank you for being on the show. Are you ready to answer five questions? I've answered way more than five questions, you dumb fuck. <laughs> yeah, but this part is called five questions. So it's five additional questions. I've been I've been drinking, putting tincture in my drink all day. Oh, you've been doing drinkture. It's a it's a vitamin. Well, ho hold on. Huh? Were you sitting down when you were making soup or no? No, fuck no. There's no chair in the kitchen. I'm probably 30 feet underground right now. The pressure from the seawater above me is making me sick. Seawater, my dick, Colorado <laughs> River. <laughs> Stupid. You underneath a barbecue. What's that barbecue place at the Riverwalk thing? <laughs> ironworks. You're just underneath ironworks eating scraps. <laughs> And know okay, that here we go. Five questions with oh, Christine. Oh shit! Oh god, Thank these better not be enjoying. like. If these are those, if these are those fucking questions, like who's your favorite? Blah blah blah. I'm just gonna black out because or blank that's out. That's fine. Oh, that's fine. Let me because I don't let me understand you, them. Let me tell you the rules. You can say no rules. to any of the questions, and they go away right away. If you Wait, don't say, answer the, if you don't answer the question, I'll ask you another question. And we never get to the fifth question. So it doesn't matter. If we answer one question and then we just say, fuck it, that's fine. But what it's the... called five questions because there's an opportunity for us to have all five. Let's just see what happens. Did you tell me I have to answer it really fast after you say it? No, no, no. You, you can, <laughs> but I'm saying you can say no to any question. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's not fun. Exactly. But you can. Okay. But if you don't answer, I'm going to ask you another question. The okay, here fuck we go. these rules. I'm too high to follow all these rules. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking me. I'm, look, look what you just made Tickles do. Oh, my God, look. Ooh, he put his hand over his face. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> he, he's like, I can't deal with this shit. <laughs> This is what he does when old Christine gets on the phone late at night. He's like, fuck that. But look, the most beautiful feet in the world. Just fiery, fiery anger. Nothing but anger towards me from that. He hates us so much. <laughs> oh, my God. This animal has been through so much hell today. Oh, my God. Here we go. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. The question, the question. Christine. Yeah. In the world in the world of favorites, when people have to pick between one thing and the other, and then it's here and there, and then it's hot or cold, and then it's what day is it? Christine, let me ask you this. What's your favorite color? Tropicana Cabana. That's correct. Thank you. I didn't know this was a contest. I mean, it's not a contest. It's you know, it's friendly. It's friendly. Tickles took his hand off his face. We're doing okay. Come on. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Next question is uh, actually regarding Tickles Pickles. Here we go. Oh, maybe I'll put it on him then. Yeah. Okay. Tickles. Here we go. On the last Christine record, there's a song called Tickles Pickles that you are featured on. Can you just tell me, what was it like in the studio? Was it fucking crazy, like Nine Inch Nails or like, you know, in sync? What was it like? I'm going to answer that question. So I always like to sing to Tickles Pickles. If it comes into my, the little bird in my throat will sing to me. And I always had my machine with me and he talks a lot. And when I sing to him, he gets happy. So I sang that song to him and I would pet his head. And sometimes if I pet him, he meows. And so I made sure I pet him on each chorus and he meowed. And that was a one take and I put it in my phone and then Peter put it and the album. That was one take? One take. He doesn't no, yeah, of course. That was a song that came out of my head. And then he he mounted and I said, Okay, good. 
That's fucking beautiful. Thank you. That's correct. All right, here we go. How do you mean it's correct? Wednesday I want to know when it's wrong. What's that? I love how you tell me my own answers are correct, you dumb fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck <laughs> out of that furry outfit. Do you fuck in that outfit? Y'all have a little hole in it? That's correct. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> so now everybody knows that not only do you pee in your outfits, Chi Chi Yellow, you it's also <laughs> fuck, fuck in those outfits too. There's a name for people called furries that do that. I don't, uh, you know, I you don't, know that, you know that know, tawdry. I feel like I'm on another, shut up. I'm on another lane, but whatever. You know that tawdry queen, Bobby Johns? <laughs> you know him? Bobby Johns, he lives yeah, in Austin. Yeah, he has a mascot outfit that he loves very much. You should get with him, and y'all could do some <laughs> ratchety ass fucking troll shit to each other. Okay, what's the next? What's the next question? <laughs> okay, we're at the hump day of questions. Number three, Christine, your music uh, can be uh, very. Uh, beautiful, but it can also be uh, very violent and angry and fucking sexy and danceable and really just fucking a great way to let some energy out. You know, energy out. Christine, what? what's the best way to get some energy out? Oh, well, I mean, I like to do a show. I like to go to a show. But the show I go to has to wake me up. So I guess that doesn't do it because sometimes they don't. You know, I guess the only fucking way to get energy out is to just go fucking dance. You can never not do anything wrong with dance. You can't fuck up dance and there's no wrong way to dance. I walk into a room sometimes and there's somebody's on the floor just rolling around. Maybe there's spit coming out of their mouth and it's not a seizure. It's yeah. a dance. They're just that's how the music makes them move. And I always think, well, that's the dance. There's that's how they dance. And I like that about dance. And there's no wrong way to dance. And they're sure it's fucking the right way to do it. Although a lot of people think they don't know how to do it right. But I'd say dancing is the best way to get the Fuck energy out of your fucking body. And uh, it's free. It's free. Fuck yes. And that's correct. Thank you. Hey, Dren. <laughs> oh, my God. My I'm friend Dren is kidding. on here. And I'm Dren kidding. was my, she was my neighbor. <laughs> Beth knows her, too. We live behind Bird's Barbershop. And my beautiful Dren and I, we were, we were the ones who raised Tickles Pickles together. Because... Aww. Because, hi, because uh, that stupid piece of shit, Dran used to bring, I love her. She used to feed Tickles. She fed Tickles so much tuna fish. Tickles had a wife and they had, Tickles had a wife and a lot of babies. And Dran brought that poor animal and all the babies and everything into her house. And her and her partner raised Tickles Pickles and all the babies and fed them tuna fish all the time. So now when I open a big can of tuna fish, he comes running like a freaking <laughs> itchy, crazy whore. Look, hey, Dran, look, it's Tickles Pickles. Hold on. I want to show Dran. Look, Dran. Aww. He misses you, Dran. He says hello. He's fucking passed out. He hates me so much. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Dran. I just had to say that because she's Tickles Pickles' mama in Austin. So is Beth, everybody. God, Lord, there's a lot of mamas uh, for Tickles Pickles. He was an old alley cat. <laughs> but I've said too much about him. Go on. All right, here we are. We're at the Quattro. Number four question out of five. We're almost there. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Here we go. Number four. And this one is fucking easy. Okay, on the long road of life, dot, dot, dot. Christine, can you tell me what's it all about? No. That's correct. All right. Here we go. I almost started singing. I felt like I immediately felt like I should sing a four non blonde song. But I didn't. I like four non blonde, but I didn't do it. 
Next question. That's only the second no ever. So you you are already in the winner's circle. Here we go. Question number five. I didn't know I was competing. <laughs> it's not a competition, but it kind of is. Okay, here we go. Question number five. In, in the spirit of giving back, do you have a question for me? And also, remember, the answer can be no. Do you have a question for me? Oh, I do. Okay. So all those years in Austin, Texas, when we knew each other and hung out together, always we had a hot energy going on, and we giggled and laughed, and we would chuckle and schmuckle. Did you ever want to fuck me? <laughs> Well, I first off want to validate the energy. It was there. But no, I, no, I didn't. Now, is that a no that you don't want to answer the question? Or a no, no that you no, didn't want I, to no, fuck me? No, I did not want to fuck you. Fuck but you, then. You the all should have wanted to fuck it, me. You know. <laughs> no, it's OK. All you Austin boys are like that. I guess. <laughs> you know, I like to think I'm special. So when you compare me to all the others, it doesn't feel good. <laughs> I know you would have fucked if we would have had a place to do it. We just never did. We were always at the bar. <laughs> well, you know that I love you, and I think the world of you, absolutely. And nothing could tear that apart. I love you, too. I never, I would never stay up till midnight with a fucking bowl of soup, uh, high as a fucking kite, to talk to anybody unless I no, love you. I love you so much. And everyone on here absolutely fucking loves you. Um, everybody, look at the Venmo that's pinned up there. It's Christine's friend, uh, Paul. He's creepy, but he's handling all the money, I guess, now. Nasty. Um, I yeah, love thank everybody. You so Thanks for being on the show, Christine. Before I let you go, will you do me one last favor and introduce the next song? What is it? It is by Christine, and it is called Fuck V29. This next song is called Fuck V29, and it was made from a nightmare I had in my head when I was in an apartment I shouldn't have been in. So this is uh, for all y'all out there. Y'all stay strong. Keep waking up. Keep finding each other on these fucking machines until we find each other in a dark room again. Let us hope it's not in that basement that Butcher Bear is in. Oh, my God, I love you. And we both know that the true answer to that question is yes, yes, we probably would have fucked. Okay, thank you so much for being on the show. I knew it, I knew it. Chicken, look at my chicken, look at my chicken. Yay. <laughs> Bye. I got a chicken to I go feed. I'll talk to you soon, honey. Love I'm you. Gonna, I'm going to press the stop button, and then when I come back, I'm going to have Fuck by Christine in your ear holes. Bye. Bye. Bye, y'all. Get me out of here.